Hey, welcome back my friends in tech. And so today we're taking a look at the iPhone 12. I uh, wanted to give the iPhone a little exposure in mid-2024, but a couple of things that I do want to make quite clear about this is that the iPhone 12 that I have here before you is in fact running iOS 18 Beta 2, or I'll call it Developer Beta 2 because this is not a public beta. So I just want to make that clear. So certain things may be a bit glitchy, but that is because it is a beta software, not the, um, I guess you would say, fully daily drivable iOS 17, which was the last that it was on before I moved it over to iOS 18. So I just wanted to clarify that before people are just like, why is it glitchy or buggy if there's any glitches or bugs that show? And that is because iOS 18 is a bit buggy and glitchy. But nevertheless, um, so it is iOS. And um, with it being on iOS 18, yes, you do get some of the things that people have been talking about, like, you know, you can put your app icons in dark mode or, you know, and such. You can move them where you want them on the screen. That is pretty much there with uh, this device. Uh, the one thing that I didn't get, and I don't know if other people experience the same thing with iPhone 12s that put theirs on iOS 18 beta, but I don't have the RCS messaging. Um, not even to toggle it on, like it's not in the iMessage app settings. So just something I kind of want to throw out there. But I will say this, though, aside from those things, I have to say that um, it is pretty smooth iOS uh, at its current stage and on this current device, which is running the A14 Bionic chip with four gigabytes of RAM. Um, I will say this, though, that power has been pretty decent, even though it's a 2815 milliamp hour battery. And the cameras do pretty decent too, which you guys will see some um, still still photography shots um, as demos. But anyways, yeah, it's, you know, it's pretty good. Um, for somebody who's been pro Android for so many years, you know, actually, you know, giving something different a chance, um, the experience has been pretty awesome. But I will say this, it's not an experience that will completely pull me away uh, from using Android. There are things that Android can do that iPhones and iOS cannot do. And uh, yeah, so I decided to use both. But, you know, one thing I do enjoy about the device itself that I wish that, you know, maybe the pixels would have is that silent switch. I love being able to toggle that, just making sure all notifications go silent. Um, everything else about it, you know, volume rocker on the left side, power, well, uh, key command button on the right side. You got your speakers and microphone at the bottom with the lightning port and dual cameras on the back, selfie cam on the front. Um, you know, it's a design that, you know, obviously screams Apple iPhone. Anyone that sees this phone obviously is going to know it's an iPhone without even having to see the Apple logo on the back of it. Um, yes, for those who may point it out, yes, my, uh, my display is cracked and I have a screen protector over it just to protect it for now until I decide to replace it. But you guys can see I am running iOS 18.0 is what it says. Um, one thing about the beta program, they don't really, uh, yeah, they don't really state that you're on beta, something that I find strange. Um, as I said earlier, you know, I get all the, the little perks of iOS 18, uh, the little UI changes, right? So I can go, you know, right now I'll have it in dark mode, um, but I can switch it to tint mode if I wanted to. I just think the tint mode looks weird. And I think over time, Apple should uh, polish that off and make it better. Just overlaying this tint on every app icon and just giving it this crazy weird blue effect is what it's stock because it's trying to match my wallpaper. It just looks weird to me. Um, that's just me, right? That's objective. So that doesn't make it a bad thing. But um, yeah, I prefer to put it just like on dark mode for the app icons. And it's only the native iOS apps that get, you know, changed. Regular apps, you know, that you download from the Apple Store, like, you know, Pokemon Go, Reddit, such, uh, they will maintain their same visual. But um, here's one of the glitches that kind of happens. So switch it to dark mode and it doesn't switch back immediately. Um, they kind of get stuck. <laughs> you see, they're all turning white. Um, they're stuck. So... Um, anyways, let me do some photos for you guys real quick, just so you guys can see how the photos come from the cameras. And I think the, you know, at times the cameras can be good, especially indoor. This is what is weird. Indoor, the photos look pretty good. Um, when I do outdoor shots, though, sometimes the back, you know, like the sky and stuff can get a bit blown out. 
and that would probably be like the only caveat to it. Um, if you just do like the point and shoot type thing, which most people do, I don't really go into like, you know, pro settings or anything like that because people really don't stop to just set up the settings in pro and like pro mode. Um, they tend to just point and shoot. So that's why I always just do a point and shoot scenario every time that I, you know, showcase and test photography. Uh, let me power off the device real quick, reboot it just so I can get the app icons fixed. But overall, the experience with the iPhone 12, I would say it's actually pretty good. It is my main iOS daily driver device, second to my Pixel 8a, which is my main daily driver device. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash the like button. really helps me out. Check out the description. Got some promos there for you guys. If you guys want to sign up with Helium, get a month free. Check them out. Um, thanks for checking out tonight's video. Talk to you on the next one.